Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about how to get a Mac on your Windows desktop. Now don't take this to mean OS X Leopard or OS X Tiger on your Windows desktop. This computer was released in 1986. So we're just going to try it out just to see how it goes and you might want to try this for yourself so I'm going to show you how. But for legal reasons um, you have to own the original computer because we're going to be getting a ROM file and it says on the website also that you need to own the original computer to use it but I'm just going to show you for uh, educational purposes only so I'm going to show you without doing any extra software because I've seen some uh, tutorials on the internet on how to do this but they've all said that you need to extract certain things and because it's in Mac format you have to go through special procedures and even then you can't get them working on the Windows PC so I'm going to do this without any extra software and um, we're just going to run it through an emulator so first to do is to download Mini V Mac. I'll provide all the links in the description so the first thing is Mini V Mac. you need the Microsoft Windows version here 42k and once that's downloaded you'll get a zip file next thing to do is to get the ROM for your Mac Plus which is this computer, this is a Mac Plus and um, basically it says here to run VMAC you'll need a copy of the ROM program from a real Macintosh for legal reasons you're supposed to own a Mac to use the ROM I'll provide a ROM image in case your ROM was damaged download the zip file here so you can download it but obviously you need to own the original computer so next up is Blanks now Blanks is, is actually done by Mini VMAC Basically what they've done is created a load of blank disks uh, that can be run inside the Mac. Um, the maximum space they've got is uh, 24 megabytes, I think, but that's ample storage for what you'll want to do. Um, I believe that you can make your own using something like, um, I think it's Dummy File Creator or something like that, but um, we're just going to download this because it's already done for us. So you download that, that's another zip file. And there's another website that's uh, dedicated to VMAC applications and here it has some boot disks now um, on other tutorials they've said you that, that, that you can uh, you have to install it and go through this install process to get it running but you don't have to do this all you have to do is to get you've got a choice you can say the VMAC boot disk which is quite a big file to download and then it's got some Norton Utilities but just for the fact that it said Norton Utilities on it I, would, I refuse to use it so um, I'm going for the system at 6.0.8 because also it says here the best system for a Mac Plus which is what we it's intending to emulate so once you've downloaded that the same site has applications so we're going to go on the applications tab and it says applications number one, applications number three, applications number four so download e each one or all of them or whichever I've just downloaded one for the time being to show you and it's got Mac Draw, Mac Paint, Mac Write, HyperCard, ResEdit and Teach Text so I've downloaded that, everything's downloaded and you should have five zip files on your desktop. Now, the first thing to do is to get VMAC, extract it. So, you'll end up with this mini VMAC exe file that you can run. And if you notice when I run it, it says unable to locate ROM image. So, we're going to quit this. And you'll notice that I had my VMAC ROM, which is in the links in the description. And drag this into the VMAC um, folder. You can actually run this off your USB pen if you wish. Next one is to, if I run this, it beeps, I apologise if that was loud, and it says, where's the disk? Uh, so you quit this and you now need to make your blank disk. And you'll notice that where it says blanks, it's got several files here, loads of different files. We're looking for the 24 megabyte one, which is the biggest, so we're just going to extract this and it will extract to a DSK file drag this into here now if we try and run it again, apologies for the beep and drag the, the, the DSK into here into the actual program it's got an X that's because it doesn't, it can't recognize the disk because it's empty so next up is system 6 which is that thing that I said why I refuse to do Norton and all that uh, so you will end up with a system6.dsk drag it into here and for the time being we're also going to um, extract the apps here and drag that, that will have a DSK as well so you should have, you'll end up with a folder saying VMAC you've got a, a ROM for the Mac and three DSK files so we're now going to run the Mac again, sorry for the beep and we're going to drag in the system 6 
DSK, which was a boot disk. Now, if you can remember DOS boot disks, this is very, very long ago, uh, you could just boot it up and it would run MS DOS. Now, this is the same thing as Mac. You just boot it up and it's run the Apple Mac operating system. So you can see that you can now start things like calculator and things like that. You can actually, I went, because I, I went through a process of trying to get this to work by going through the Apple Mac uh, website, actually their official website, they have older software, but they're all in Apple format and you have to try and extract it and then you have to do it on an original Mac and all that. It's just too much hassle, so it's already been done. So as you can see, we've got this in a startup thing with the system startup um, disk. However, the system startup disk is only 1.4 megabytes and I'm sure it's full of all the applications you get with uh, Apple. So we've made our disk here, haven't we, of 24 megabytes. So all you need to do is drag this into the application again. And you'll notice it's come up as untitled. Now I assume you can rename this somehow. Uh, get info? No. No. Here we go. We'll call it uh, Mac HD. Now all you need to do is, uh, for, well, for the time being, just to make sure it works, we're just going to erase the disk. Complete the eraser, initialize. Just to make sure it's all in the right format. And then we're just going to drag the system startup disk onto it. Are you sure you want to completely replace contents of Mac HD with system startup? Okay. So now everything on that system start startup disk is on the Mac hard drive. So you can now quit this application. I'm going to shut it down. Uh, special shutdown. And then you can quit it. And you can run it again. Sorry for the beep. <laughs> and just drag the 24 into here now, and it should run. And here we are with the Mac, um, the Mac desktop. So. That's pretty much it really, it's as easy as that. If you want to start installing applications, all you need to do is drag the applications disk onto here, and it will say applications number one. Double click this, and we would really want to make a new folder, and call it applications or something like that. I'll just say apps. And then double click this, and drag this over here, and select them all, and copy them into the apps folder. So then it's already done, it's already ready to go. So double click the apps and you find that you have all of these. So if I run Mac uh, right, here's Mac right. And start typing and things like that. So that's basically, no, you don't save changes. Sorry for the beep again. And we're gonna quit. So we're back to desktop. So that's about it really. This is how to get a Mac on your Windows desktop. And it was very easy. You just had to extract six files and put them all in the same folder and make the Mac hard drive start up with the startup disk. So uh, one last way that you can do it, and it's already been done for you, they've designed it on a portable apps page. They've done pretty much what I've done. And there you can basically just download the whole lot and it's all ready to go, but you still need to drag the files in. But I've just shown you how to do it manually and it's probably easier to do it that way because you're learning as you go along. Um, and there's several applications I think on here as so well. You might want to download this just to get the extra applications. But um, I'll provide the link to this as well in the description. So that's it. Um, we now have a Mac running on a Windows desktop. So thanks for watching my video. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks again.